Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can deploy your Django project on Railway. Railway is a platform that is totally free where you can deploy your projects. The project can be Django project, Node project or any other technology project. I am on the official website of Railway. If you want to explore Railway in detail, you can explore their official documentation by going to this doc, screen, doc screen. So first of all, you need a GitHub repository. So let's jump into my GitHub repository. First of all, I need to create a new repository. I am naming it as test repository. You can also add description. Make sure it is uh, public. So uh, I, uh, I will create my repository here. After creating your repository, you need to go back to your railway screen. Then you need to create a new project by clicking on start a new project. It will show you uh, where I want to get my code. So I am deploying from GitHub repo. So here I will select my repository that contains my code. So I need to search test here and select test. So uh, when I click on deploy now, it will take all the code from my test repository and deploy my code on railway. So let's jump into the uh, VS code to show the further files. So this is my pip file that contain all the packages installed in my project. This is the project I am going to deploy on railway. First of all, you need to create a proc file in the root of your uh, project. You can uh, create the proc file, uh, proc file by, by running the command touch proc file without any extension. When I click on when I click enter, it will create a proc file for me. So you need to write this command in this proc file web colon unicorn and also you need to install unicorn in your project by running pip install unicorn. As you can see, it is already installed in my uh, in my uh, packages list. Once you install Gunicon, uh, you need to uh, write this command in your proc file. Web colon Gunicon, the name of uh, the name of your project. In my case, it is Songs App Backend. If you, the name of your project is Test, you can write Test and make sure this extension is WSGI. And this is WSGI pi that we use for deployment purpose. And followed by uh, colon uh, slash slash log slash file space slash this is the server command that the railway needs to run as my project needs two servers so i will paste my other server as well if you only need uh, if you are the your django project is simple that only need a single server so you just need to write this command after that you need to create your requirements dot txt file this file contain all the packages installed in your project. You can create this file by running the command pip freeze forward slash and the name of file that should be requirements.txt. When I click enter, it will create a requirements.txt file and it contains all the packages and dependencies required for my project. And lastly, I need to create a runtime.txt file. You can create this file by touch runtime.txt when i run this command it will create a, a runtime.txt file for me in this file you need to write your python version you can check your python version by running this command if you run in terminal you just need to write python dash dash version as i am running in my project so i need to write a python 3 because i am using python 3 in this project so my python version is 3.11.3 i python followed by minus sign that is slash and 3.11.3 when all these things are done you are ready to deploy your project on railway but if your project also contains some static files you need to go to uh, settings.py file and write these two lines in it after uh, writing these two lines in those settings.py file you need to run this command that is python manage.py and create static once you, once you uh, run this command it will create a static files folder with all the static files required for your project 
my project uh, don't contain any static files so it will contain the default static files for me after doing all these steps we are ready to deploy our project on railway now we need to push our code to the git repository that we just created so this is the repository that i created you need to run all these commands first of all you need to run git init to initialize your git repository and then add all the files by running git add and followed by a dot that will push all the files in staged uh, after that you need to commit your changes add the remote and you need to uh, push your branch to your github repository as you can see a repository is already attached to my uh, to my django project so i don't need to run these commands i just need to push my code and it will push the code in this repository First of all, I need to add my changes, commit my changes, after that I am ready to push my code. After pushing our code to GitHub repository, we need to move back to the uh, project we created in the railway dashboard. So this is the project I created for deploying my project. You can see it is updated three minutes ago. If you want to add any environment variables, you can add uh, by clicking on variables and you can add as many variables as you want. If this box is green, it means your project is successfully deployed. If it is showing some red warning or error, it means uh, there is some issue with de deployment. When I click on this URL, it will take me to the home screen of my project. I need to copy this and go to Postman for testing my endpoints. First of all, I need to paste this root URL of my deployed application and then hit any of my endpoints. For example, this is the endpoint and that will uh, give me all the uh, songs added already added in database. When I send get request, it will display all the songs already added in database. So in this way, you can deploy your Django project on railway. First of all, you need to create your uh, account on railway. After that, you need to create a project on railway. You need to uh, push your code on uh, some GitHub repository and you need to create these files like this proc file requirements.txt file and this runtime.txt file after installing this gunicorn package if your project uh, contains some static files you need to add these lines once you are done with these steps you just need to push your code to your github repository and attach your uh, github repository to your uh, railway project and it will automatically get all the code and deploy your project on railway